Today I'm going to be showing you how you can turn your FPS from looking like this to looking more like this. To start I'm going to show you the best possible in-game settings. When it comes to quick slots, stamina and health conditions, these are personal preference but if you're new to the game I'd recommend having these on always shown. When it comes to health colour scheme there's two options, polychrome and monochrome. Again this is personal preference but I recommend having it on polychrome. Highlight available operations on everything. Then when it comes to double click item quick use you're going to set this to in raid only. This will stop you from accidentally eating food in your stash. When it comes to vaulting over medium obstacles, you're going to want to keep this on hotkey. When it comes to wishlist item notifications, this is personal preference, but I have it enabled. Then when it comes to auto add to wishlist, again this is personal preference, but I have it on hideout zone upgrade items. Next is automatic RAM cleaner. If you have 16GB of RAM or less, you're going to want to keep this on. For only use physical cores, you're going to keep this off. Then when it comes to FOV, this is personal preference. I like to have it on 75. Head bobbing is when your screen moves when you run. This can be a bit distracting, so you're going to want to have this on the lowest setting possible. These last four settings are personal preference, but I'd recommend these. Next, when it comes to the graphics settings, you can set the game to whatever resolution you want. I'd keep the aspect ratio at 16 by 9. When it comes to screen mode, full screen is technically the best. But if you alt tab a lot, I'd recommend borderless. When it comes to texture quality, it all comes down to how much VRAM your graphics card has. For me, my graphics card has 6, so I use medium. If you have less than that, I'd use low. If you have more than that, maybe try out high. For shadow quality, I keep this on low. This gives you the most frames, and it makes enemies easier to see. For object LOD quality, I like to have it on 2.5. For overall visibility, I like to keep it on 1500. But if you want more frames, you can try it on 1000. Now a new setting added this wipe is cloud quality. This setting doesn't have much of an effect on FPS, but for some reason, having it on low can cause your game to stutter. So I'd recommend keeping this on high. When it comes to anti-aliasing, I use TAA high. This makes your game look a lot better, but if you just want frames, turn it to off. When it comes to DLSS and AMD FSR, I'd recommend keeping these off. For resampling, keep this at 1x. HBAO affects shadows in game, so if you want more frames just keep this off. Now SSR affects the quality of water, I personally keep this off. Now when it comes to anisotropic filtering, for some reason this wipe, all the settings look the exact same, so I'd recommend keeping it turned off. For Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, I'd recommend turning this on. This will help reduce latency in-game. Now when it comes to sharpness, this is personal preference. I personally like to have it on 0.9. Then when it comes to these settings at the bottom, for the most frames just keep all of these turned off, except for Streets of Tarkov Lower Resolution Mode. Next we have the post effects settings. These are my post effects that I use in-game, and I think it makes the game look a lot better. Then when it comes to the sound settings, again, these are personal preference, but I would recommend turning music volume down. Next, when it comes to control settings, all your keybinds are personal preference. However, when it comes to double click timeout, you're going to want to make sure that this is the lowest possible. And that's it for all the in-game settings. The next thing I'd recommend doing is going to the Battle State Games client. You want to click on launcher settings. You're going to want to change these two settings. For when I close the launcher window, exit the launcher. And for when I launch the game, you're going to want to set that to exit the launcher completely. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to logs. This will open a folder that will show a bunch of temporary files that you don't need. So I'd recommend just deleting these. The last thing you're going to want to do is select the right servers. So go to change region. Then I'd recommend just selecting every server with under 100 ping. And that's it for today's video.